Hey kids, in the last video we read the poem A Happy Child and in this video we will answer some questions about the poem. Next question is read and match the words with the pictures. Draw a line. In this question we have to match the words given here to the pictures given here. There are also these two lines which are given above the pictures. The first one says, I am a boy. The second one says, I am a girl. Now the first word is boy. I know that this is not a boy. This is a girl. I know that this is a boy because it is written out here. I am a boy. So I will make a line which joins the word boy to the picture of the boy. The next word is girl. Now this is a boy and out here it is written I am a girl. So now I will make a line which joins the word to the picture. The next exercise is fill in the box with the right colors. In this exercise, we will first read the questions and color the box with the answer of the questions. Let's start with the first one. What is the color of the happy child's house? To answer this question, I will go back to the poem and I will read it. My house is red, a little house, a happy child am I. This tells me that a happy child's house is red in color. So, now I will color the box with the color red. Now, let's do the second question. What is the color of your house? To answer this question, I will have to think. What is the color of my house? The color of my house is brown. So, I will color the box with the color brown. Next question is, what is the color of the tree? To find the answer to this question, I will go back to the poem and read it. I have a tree, a green green tree to shade me from the sun. This tells me that the tree is green. Now I will color the box with the color. Next question is what is the color of the sun? Again to answer this question I will go back to the poem. But in the poem the answer is not Given. So now I will look at the picture and in the picture I see the color of the sun is yellow. So I will color the box with yellow. The next question is, is there a tree growing near your house? Now the answer to this question I will not find in the book. So I will have to think, is there a tree near my house? Yes, there is a tree near my house. So I will write the answer. Yes, there is a tree growing near my house. Next question is, is the tree big or small? To answer this question, I will have to think about the tree near my house. The tree near my house is big. So I will write the answer. The tree near my house is big. The next question is, what is the name of the tree? To answer this question, I will have to think about the name of the tree near my house. The name of the tree near my house is a mango tree. So I will write the answer. The name of the tree near my house is a mango tree. The next question is, there are many kinds of houses. Circle the ones you have seen. There are different kinds of houses that people live in. Some houses are called huts. You usually find huts in the villages. The other kinds of houses are bungalow, flat. These houses you find in the city. And the last kind of house is an igloo. The other kind of houses you find are called igloos. And you find these kind of houses only in cold regions. So out of these different kinds of houses, I have seen huts. So I'm going to take my pencil and join the dots around the hut and when it is complete it will look like this. I have also seen bungalows 
in cities. So now I will join the dots around the bungalow. And when it gets complete, it will look like this. I have never seen igloos in my life. So I will not join the dots. Next one is flat. I have seen flats in the city. So I will now join the dots around the picture of the flat. When I complete, it will look like this. The next question is, draw lines from the house to the people who live in your home. To complete this question, we will first read the names of the different people who can live in a house and then think about who all live in our own house. The first person who can live in a home is a grandfather. In my house, my grandfather does not stay. So I will not make a line which joins my grandfather to the picture of the house. The second one is my grandmother. My grandmother also does not stay in my home. So I will not make a line joining the picture of my grandmother to the picture of the house. The next one is my father. My father does stay in my house. So now I will make a line which joins the word my father to the picture of the house. The next person who can live in a home is mother. My mother does stay in my house. So I will make a line which joins the word my mother to the picture of the house. The next person is my sister. I don't have a sister. So I will not make a line from the picture and word my sister to the picture of the house. The last person who can live in a home is brother. Now I do have a brother who lives in my house. So I will make a line which joins the word my brother to the picture of the house. The next question is how many people live in your house? Now to answer this question I will have to think. Who all live in my house? In my house my father stays my mother stays, my brother stays and I stay. So there are four people who live in my house. So I will write my answer. There are four people living in my house. Next question is draw your house here and talk about it. In this question I will first have to think about what my house looks like. And now I will start drawing it. My house has a ground floor which has a door and a big window. My house has a first floor which also has a big window and it has a covered terrace. And this is what my house looks like. Now I will talk about my house. A house is a place where we live. I live in Jaipur. My house is a two-storied bungalow. It was built by my father. There are four members in my family. My father, mother, my brother and me. We all live together in my house. Now you should draw your own house in the box and talk about it to your friends. Now in this exercise we are going to talk about feelings. Different people feel different things at different times. Sometimes people feel happy when something nice happens to them. Sometimes people feel sad when something bad happens to them. For example, I feel happy when I go out to play. But I feel really sad when someone I love goes away. Now we are going to read a few questions and think about how they make us feel. Do they make us feel happy or do they make us feel sad? Now let's start from the first question. How do you feel when you get a new dress? But to answer this question, I will have to think. How do I feel when I get a new dress? Do I feel happy or do I feel sad? I think I feel happy when I get a new dress because it makes me feel nice. 
so i will write happy next to the question now let's do the next question how do you feel when you get hurt to answer this question i will have to think how do i feel when i get hurt when i get hurt i feel sad because i am in a lot of pain so now i will write the answer sad the next question is how do you feel when you share your things so now i will think how do i feel when i share my things when i share my things i feel happy so i am going to write happy now the next question is how do you feel when you are ill so now i will have to think how do i feel when i am ill when i am ill i feel very sad because i can't do anything fun when i am ill so i will write my answer sad hey kids today we're going to read a poem a happy child but before we start let's learn some new words 